All right, guys and girls, this is number two. I'm gonna keep with the Quest, the SSS testing I just made in the last one. What we're gonna do in this tutorial is another question I was asked is how to start a Quest from another Quest finishing. So we're gonna do that in this, uh, and this is gonna lead into the third tutorial I do today. Uh, so all three of these will go in mind. So if you haven't got this done yet, or you wanna just, this can be used in a vanilla Quest, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna use it in this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new quest. And so what I'm going to do is name this one SSS. Uh, what do we want? Start. I'll just put starting quest. I am naming these just so you can see it come up. Uh, you know what? We'll name this. We'll name it. What day is it? That will be the name of the quest. We'll put priority at 75. It just puts it in the journal list. Undo uh, game enabled. Now I'm going to go zero on this one. I don't think we need a lot of them, but because we'll just do 0, 10, 20. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go to zero, hit new here. I'm also like always going to uh, bring up, I will copy and paste this. This will all be in the bottom for you. You'll understand in the end what this is all for. So I can't open that up yet because we haven't closed it. So. Close it down. Now we're in starting quest. Go back up here. That should open that up. Now, uh, you're going to see by the time the third one comes around what this is all about, what day is it. So, zero, ask someone for the day. Okay, that'll be the tutorial. I mean, that'll be the, the uh, I didn't even put it in the right place. There we go. Ask someone for the day sometimes I just get ahead of myself so then that's here we got that's gonna be set to there this one is not start game enabled so that quest is all that's all we need right now in this quest we're gonna do some more of that in the third tutorial let's go back to our testing so what we did in there was what's your favorite color uh, we're gonna add another dialogue to this okay so we're gonna add this new dialogue and what this one's gonna be is uh, it doesn't matter We'll put SSS ending. Uh, and then we'll put 001. I'll put 001 because I think I already have that in another. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's just in this way. So um, I'm going to put glad you remembered. Now on this, we're going to put this to no. Well, we'll do that afterwards. So. Change that to there, and then go new here. And this ain't gonna matter because it's coming off another one. Let's have her put thanks. And now on this here, we don't even need to put in because this is where this is gonna be led off from another one. The goodbye. Now on this, and I will copy and paste these down below, like I said. I'm gonna put this here, and we're going to put set it to stage 100 now we haven't made a stage 100 yet but we can still do test 100 the script will still fire that one's done and now what we're going to do here is an each answer when it's done so we have the oops i screwed that all up so in each answer when it's done you're going to add link and you want to put the ending in so no matter which one it goes to, you can copy this as well to save some time. Red, green, or pink. You'll see why this is all happening when we get into game. But this is going to save you from putting three uh, script on each one. So it goes to one in the end, which go to this one. We'll set it to stage 100, which we've got to create over here. And we'll put it 100. Now we're going to put complete quest. Okay, we're going to close that out. We're going to open it back up. We just want to make sure all the all of them are set. And in here, this is going to be the final stage. Complete quest. We're going to paste in, complete all objectives, and stop. I do that at the end of every quest. Now, we're going to compile this. And then we are actually going to open up properties. Now, I'm going to explain properties real quick. Is uh, Properties pretty much say what they are, right? If you're adding a sound, if you're adding a spell, if you're adding a scene, we're adding a quest. So what we want to do is go quest. We're going to name this quest um, time. It doesn't matter. Name it anything you want. Name it my quest. That's what a lot of people do. So I'm going to name it time. 
then when this comes up, we're going to fill this, or you can name it exactly what you named everything else if you wanted to, but we're going to name it to starting quest, which was going to be the quest we want to start. So in here, now we have that property set. From here, we're going to go back to our, I always have them at my quest here, because that's what, you just change the name as you go, pull that down push this in and change each of these before the so it would be time or you could just write uh, type time dot set active and close parameters and then time set stage you probably only need the set stage I use both just in case so what this will do is when stage 100 is set now you're going to start the next quest and then the rest from complete complete all objectives and then just stop any scripts and anything in the quest is just going to stop it. Okay? Compile this here. And if you set the property and everything, this will compile. So what this is going to do is when this quest is over now, so we're going to go to the dialog here, player dialog, and I will show this in game again how it works. You're going to go to Sadia. What is my favorite color? You choose. Let's say you chose green this time. It went to green. From green, once this opens up, It'll go to the ending dialogue, which, glad you remembered, thanks. From here, set stage 100. So then over here, it goes to stage 100, which is going to be end the quest, complete the quest. When the quest completes, it's going to set your next quest to start. Now, this can be put in vanilla script, wherever you want to put it to start another stage. But this question was asked on how to do it, so I figured I'd just jump in this whole, tu whole tutorial, cover all of this. So from here, we should be pretty much done. Let me see if I added the force greet on the ending here to double check. And I don't think I did, just so you can see it in game. No, I did. Goodbye is there, everything else. So that is how you start another quest from a quest. And you can add that into the vanilla dialogue, a different quest that's running. Remember, though, if you alter the vanilla dialogue, that can become incompatible with other mods that have also altered the vanilla dialogue. Anyways, let's go in the game and I'll show you how this works. Okay, before we jump in, I forgot to do a couple things. Uh, one, we got to remove the goodbyes uh, from the answer, from the answers, the red, blue, and green. So it needs to be able to push forward to this here. But before we do that, we also got to go down to here and we got to remove this to normal. Okay, so remove the goodbyes. We're going to... I'm going to re-add that just in case. Remove the goodbye. Let that go to the ending. Goodbye's gone out of gray. Goodbye's gone out of that. So with the goodbye on it, wouldn't let it push to the ending. And if the ending is at top level, it won't allow it to move to that uh, top level one. So we need this after she says green. This needs to move to, glad you remember, to the ending dialogue. This is why we need to do this, okay? Now we're going to go into game and check everything. Okay, so we're in game and putting this little script in to start a new quest is assuming you've already got a quest running. We're still running it from this one so you can test it out. So again, I gotta start that quest again with the uh, the test one we're running. Just set it to zero. Keep we'll your eyes Stadia. If it's work you're looking we're for. We're gonna go back across this whole thing. What's your favorite color? Red. Just a second, Galas. And then my favorite. So then you go back. If you need more food or drink, what was my favorite color? She answers red. Now we'll go to glad you remembered. I have Thanks. I miss having you around. Now the script. Sexually harassing all of us. Dialogue quest. But you owe me some Starting what day is it? So that's how you start another quest from a quest. I hope this helps, Sorry guys. About that, have a good day.